Okay, let's take a walk around this uh, 1999 on a T Land Rover Defender 110 County Station Wagon. I will apologise in advance, my normal video camera is uh, broken down. So uh, I'm going to try it on my iPhone, but um, um, <laughs> what can I say? It's, <laughs> it's not up to the same standard as a proper video camera, but I'll do what I can. Anyway, yeah, 99 on a T, finished in uh, navy blue with a white roof. Nice standard car, this one, very usable. Um, just a, you know, nice usable 110. Uh, county station wagon, navy blue, white roof, white wheels, matching set of general sort of military spec type tyres. It's got full length side steps on it. Uh, what else does it have? Not a lot else in fairness. It's very standard. Um, full county pack, so it's got sunroof and uh, alpine lights and everything. And that's a full 12 seater, this one. Uh, just going round to the back, trying to keep your phone steady. It's got rear step on it, it's got adjustable tow pack. Uh, but that really is about the lot. And inside it's got a radio CD with auxiliary plug. Um, and it's also got uh, the, the front centre seat. It's got a three-point belt on it rather than the usual two-point. So let's go around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. Very, very dent-free. Um, there are quite a few scratches on it and one or two and a few blemishes and stuff. But it's very dent-free, apart from the front bumper. As you can see, uh, the front bumper is bent in at the uh, towards the front. Um, but, you know... If you need one, a new front bumper's only 30 quid. Um, but yeah, a dented front bumper. Front wings are nicely dent-free. The bonnet has got a few scratches on it. Uh, along here, see on the video there, along there, there, and a few scratches here and there. Uh, a few scratches on the wing tops as well. It's not covered in checker plate, this one, which is quite nice. Looking down the sides, it's actually really quite straight. And I say front wings are nice. Going up to the scuttle corners here. Scuttle corners here are very good. On this side, that's all very nice indeed. Uh, the screen has got a couple of um, chips in it which have been repaired in the past there and there. Uh, they've been filled. Um, screen rubber isn't the best. And both um, hinge, uh, hinge blocks have lost all of their paint really. A post is all nice all the way down there. Um, Near side, modesty coverers, bit of electrolytic reaction on it at the, uh, at the front edge just down there. Near side door has got a small parking dent in it just there and a large scratch just here. Um, B post all is good from the outside. Inside here, the interior is it's not up to the standard of, uh, of a 12K one that we've got, but it's okay, it's, it's, it's perfectly usable. It's got the, uh, the techno pattern cloth seats and the seat facings are in good shape. The back of the middle seat, the vinyl is split along there which you can see um, and the very back seats are just sort of starting to peel away a little bit. The backrests are starting to peel away from their um, um, from their backings. Uh, headlining is a bit grubby but uh, it's all there and it's actually really quite unsaggy compared to a lot of them. Um, it's still got its front carpet mats Dash is all there, door cards are good. Let's see what this door's like. The only thing I can't do with is use two hands, obviously. So let's have a look. Near side front door actually feels reasonably good under there in terms of its frame. And it's actually had new, new hinges on the near side door, so they're actually pretty good. B post is not too nice, as we've said. Near side rear door is all good. Little bit of electrical reaction down there on the closing panel but it's good down here. Um, rear door card has suffered a bit down there. Bottom of the door is good. D post is all nice, as you can see. That's all in good shape. And the rear seats are fine, apart from, say, you've got, they're starting to, again, coming away a little bit from the back of the rear seat just there. Actually, it doesn't work too bad with this uh, iPhone camera, video camera. At least I can see what I'm doing. Um, yeah. Near side rear wing, we've got a scratch just there, that's all good. It's lost its near side rear mud flap. Um, around the tail end, that cross member looks really quite tidy. I think it's probably had a replacement cross member on it. Uh, the rear door has also been replaced and one thing it didn't do was to paint the rear door to match the rest of it, so you've got that rear door. Uh, but at least it is a new door. Yeah, that's a new door. Um, rear door card is a little bit tired as you can see. Uh, and they didn't bother fitting the um, the rear wiper to it again. 
Uh, inside here, still got carpets in the back. As I say, the um, the backrests on the rear seats are just sort of starting to peel away a little bit from the back, and you can actually get a new uh, holding section which holds them holds them back in place. Um, and so there's a couple of nicks in the back of the middle seats just there, but otherwise it's all good. It's got the seat belts for everything. Oh, shut the door for me. Carrying on round, looking down the offside, a few dinks in the barrel sides on the doors, but offside rear wing uh, all looks pretty good. Bit of paint loss just down here. I don't know what that's covering up. It doesn't feel like it's covering anything up actually. It looks like just a, a sticker that's there, but we haven't bothered taking that one off. Um, tub top trims are all good. Bit of paint loss on the near side, on the offside modesty cover just down there. Um, and we've got quite a lot of lacquer loss. It's only been the only real lacquer loss on the vehicle actually. Offside rear door, two sections here. Um, inside it, the offside rear door is rusting in the usual area just there. Uh, but the base of the door actually feels fine. Again, depost is in good shape. Um, looking at the seats are okay there. So a couple of parking dinks there and there, and a couple along here. Offside front door is all nice. Scuttle corner on the offside is all good. Just a bit of staining here, a bit of paint loss just there. Uh, but that's all nice. Offside front wing's in good shape. And then inside here on the driver's side, the um, got a, a slight nick in the... Uh, in the vinyl just down there but that's easily solved all you do is swap the drive the drive one to the passenger one if you really want to but uh, we're not going to bother uh, and obviously with its mileage the um uh, the foam inside the driver's seat here has sort of collapsed slightly but the, the covering is still is all still there um driver's door let's have a look at the frame it feels reasonable yeah not too bad at all again it's had new hinges on the driver's door so there we have it, um, just a nice usable 110 really, uh, nothing customised about it, could be used as a blank canvas to make, uh, to make it your own if you like, um, but it's a nice original one, not been too badly messed about with. Um, come to us direct from the last private owner. There we have it, my name is Simon, you can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495 or you can go to our website, which is www.motodrome.co.uk for any further information. End.